Good day, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. My name is Shift Dogs Only Four. And let's go into this one then. So we're back on Neve Speed Hop Soup for Thursday's video, which I recorded on Sunday last week. Um, but we're back in Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered, and as you can tell, it's a bit of a uh, interesting episode we have today. Through the uh, the length of the episode is well seven minutes over the target, so plenty to do, and we've been doing plenty in game as well with 28% uh, of the game complete. But we're gonna attempt the Turn It Up Hot Pursuit uh, event first off. Uh, which we ignored last time, but we're going to do it now. And we're going to be driving the 959 Porsche. Um, which is, again, a car that I've never driven before. But we've got six bike strips, two, uh, three helicopters, six EMPs at night, 3 a.m., six busts. Let's do this. Thirteen point two miles is ahead of us, and uh, yeah, again, I I swear that they have added these old cop cars in because I do not remember this event at all. I never remember using this car, and I swear the remastered version has added uh, this car in. But I mean, on some miracle, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I am right. As we call in the helicopter, though. And we deploy a spike strip behind, we get the hit on the blue Porsche Panamera there. And uh, we, well, we're trying to pursue the cars, mainly focusing behind, but also looking in front a little bit here with an EMP, as we just about get it on the Aston Martin in front. The helicopter drops a spike strip, which does in fact hit a, uh, a person, and you can see we get a upgrade for the helicopter as well as a bust on someone else which uh, also stopped their EMP so that's good uh, but yeah I did actually miss the helicopter uh, upgrade when I was playing and even while I was editing I literally just saw it now uh, but we get a second bust as well as the Porsche goes tumbling over the mountain uh, not really much we can go with the fact that there's two spike ships that have been deployed on this shortcut. We deploy a helicopter just before our systems get jammed. And so now the time is to try and uh, we'll catch up to the cars in front as the helicopter flies over um, and is getting ready to place down a trap. We place down our own trap in a spike strip from behind our car which hits the Aston Martin. And now we just got to hope that the, uh, the helicopter is able to get us hit off uh, from behind, but it doesn't. And we also miss our EMP as well, so uh, not a great segment here at the moment. But we see a car behind, we deploy a spike ship, it collides with them, and that is a third bus. So we've got the pass achieved, which is pretty, pretty darn decent. Uh, but the spike ships ahead that we have to avoid. We deploy an EMP as well, um, which does in fact get the Mercedes AMG. And now we can catch up to him a little bit while he's a bit damaged. And the helicopter can go overhead and can get ready to deploy a, uh, a spike strip ahead, hopefully. So he races off in front. And there's more spike ships deployed around this corner, but not really going to do anything to us. As we deploy. A, uh, an EMP, we have to avoid the own helicopter spike strip and then this fella is able to deploy his own spike strips and yeah that made us miss our EMP but this is the thing with the helicopter sometimes is it can be the, such a blessing but also such a curse as well as we deploy it again and speed things up a little bit we uh, hit our cop car a little bit as we go through the uh, shortcut there and again, there's so many tunnels here, which makes the helicopter really, really useless sometimes. We try and deploy an EMP, eventually we get a lock on. We avoid both of the, uh, both the spike strips from him, and even our helicopter in the end. And so, we go around the corner on the bridge, 
pass to the lighthouse. I see that the guy is going wide, so I think that this is an amazing lineup. But he ends up cheeking me a bit. A bit of a skull emoji a moment. And he gets. Uh, well, he avoids us, but uh, not for long as we look to potentially deploy a spike strip. Well, no, the helicopter one actually gets it instead. So uh, that is a fourth person down. Good work from the helicopter, but we don't have any left. We've only got one EMP left, which I just about are able to catch on to this guy. He tries to deploy spike strips to defend himself, but they are no use. And we're down to 2.3 miles, two people left, and only two spike strips. And we're a little bit behind them, so we've got to play a bit of catch up if we want to. Uh, if we want to get the win on this uh, on this pursuit, but a jammer deployed. It doesn't really matter because again we're we're just trying to take them out. We don't have any anything to deploy in front of us, any spike strips, but we've got a traffic collision and we then we collide into the uh, the um, Nissan GTR and we get a spike strip bust on him as we were looking in the mirrors. But you can see we've only got one spike strip and there's less than a mile left and this fella is very much so in front so as we speed up he jams our systems and we come across and there you go race has escaped so we failed the mission pretty much we did get a merit but we didn't you know we didn't get all six of them so in that in, in my eyes that's a fail but we get two rewards four rewards even as we go over the bounty to get to patrolman level uh, two or level six overall and so uh yeah it's not looking it's not looking as good um but we've been promoted nonetheless despite the poor performance as i said to patrolman level two um we have a total of 40 busts as well so we're doing well on that front at least but um yeah as we saw we're gonna get an equipment upgrade and it is for helicopter level two So hopefully now the uh, helicopter should be able to track them way better when they go into tunnels which should help us. Uh, we also get the 959 Porsche uh, as well for completing the event even though we only got merit so uh, yeah I feel a bit meh about that. But we also get a completely new vehicle in the form of the Alfa Romeo 8C Competition R, uh, whatever you know, it's an Alfa anyway. <laughs> Uh, next event though is the ultimately open preview event which again focuses on pretty much the same route as the rocket science one as we use the Lamborghini Reventon Roadster um, but it pretty much uses the same uh, the same sort of circuit or same track you know uh, what's his name you know trial uh, I'm trying to think route that's it the same route uh, as we needed to get a, well it's 4.8 miles at 4pm with sunny conditions for the most part and we need to get a 148 to get gold so that is the target but as you can see we're already starting off in the glorious glorious road that I hailed so much in the last episode on Tuesday I recommend you check it out and the entire series but just pure bliss this is such a brilliant corner I cannot overstate how cool this corner is, like, just so, so nice to drive, um, and we do it perfectly there as well, so a good job from us in the driver's seat as well as we fly around this corner and continue to to uh, to get a shift on. Go a bit wide through this corner, but uh, it doesn't really matter too much, as long as we don't crash into any uh, anyone or uh, hit the wall too much then I'm, uh, I'm fine with it but again we go around the corner here this lovely lovely long corner it's just uh, keep it to the outside so we can get some of the oncoming as well for drifting for the boost 
apply the bit of the boost so we don't fill up on it and then once we come out of this apply the boost get the get the foot right down and get incredibly fast speeds as we come around through this corner again expertly taken from the outside to the inside to the outside and then flying through around this corner and unlike the previous one the end is through the tunnel rather than at the start of the tunnel and so you can see the white smoke just about as we come through and that is a 1 minute 42.58 and a gold awarded to us for the ultimately open event so we did a lot better in this event than we did on the previous one um, it only took one try for, for the rocket or for this one compared to the rocket science one and of course as you saw earlier we uh we only got a merit on the last one but we get the Shelby GT500 from Ford nice nice car um so glad that we're able to get it because it is one of my more favorite ones and speaking of that car we could have used it in this event called Snake Pit Hot Pursuit or the the Hot Pursuit event called Snake Pit um but fortunately we don't have it unlocked for the police side so we're limited to only using the Dodge Viper SRT-10 but I'm sure they will get the job done just as well as the rest of them in a green colour but we have only 10 spike strips, 5 bus, 9pm and dark conditions so let's head down to the event So under the cover of darkness with 13 miles to our objective we have to take out these five races with nothing but 10 spike strips and I'm pretty sure there's a similar event that we'll get later on which requires us to use 10 EMPs so uh, it's quite an interesting sort of event actually to be only to be limited to spike strips but speaking of spike strips the uh, enemy in front of us has got level 2 ones so we need to be careful here as I miss my uh, own spike strip and we get an EMP, I think that's the first one that a race has locked on and hit us with so you can see the effects and um, well the lights are a bit malfunctioned as well but eventually they get back to being like they would be the sound is a bit different as well, probably would be a bit hard to hear over my own voice but there you go uh, but we take a little bit of a, a slap through the exit of the uh, of the shortcut then, a slap as we come out of the uh, or turn ourselves back round but that was incredibly weird, I don't think I've ever had that happen as we deploy a spike strip behind us again uh, we've still got an EMP locked onto us though but we're just about able to escape as we deploy another spike strip and we slow it down here and it gets a bust so that I think deserves a round of applause as well because my god what a snipe that was as we avoid that spike strip as well we're gonna chuck another one out behind us and that gets the other fella so two down already um, and we're looking to get this third guy here who's again in a Shelby GT500 but we're gonna overtake him for now worry about him later as we dive through this corner we're being locked on again with the EMP um, and so I deploy another spike strip behind and well it was too far to get the little cinematic showing that he was hit but the uh, dispatch provider did inform us uh, that we did in fact get the hit and you could see it just about when I zoomed in as well but we now come round over the bridge and near to the lighthouse so very similar um, routes that we've been taken as of recent but we chuck another spike strip out and that one does get the bust on that fella it also takes out the SRT-10 as well and slows him down a bit as we avoid the spike strip there that was a bit of a close one we get EMP'd again we're gonna chuck another spike strip and again another snipe so I think that also deserves a round of applause to us as well as we get their merit the Shelby is trying to slow down to hopefully try and EMP us but we let him pass in the end because uh, we're, well, we're about half health so we're not particularly uh, in the best shape but we're surviving so far and there's only one left with plenty of miles to go so 
there's not really much of a threat of us uh, particularly losing this one so far. We go onto the inside to make sure he doesn't take the shortcut though and we also get a little bit of attack on him as well and then we're going to speed it up a little bit here because I fumble around a little bit um, but eventually Ray was getting onto low uh, damage critical and then he chucks a spike strip and I want to slow this down here because I literally gasped I could not believe that I was able to avoid that that was pixels away from taking out my tyres um, and then I go from being incredibly smart to incredibly stupid as I equip the inside of that parking sort of area and crash straight into a shopping centre um, or a supermarket as we call it here um, but anyway we speed things up again because we now need to catch up to this fella but he is on low HP and we come across and in front of him now deploy his spike strip and that is his day ruined and that is the pursuit over so well done to me as uh, well you might hear an ice cream fan soon because I just heard it anyway 4 minutes and 4.51 is the time that we have to do it in to get the distinction award as well so good stuff uh, from that point of view we get one new reward uh, so far as the points come in and yet yeah, we're just going to get the one new reward and that new reward is of course a new car and that new car is the Bentley Continental Super Sports Coupe for the speed enforcement unit so we can't use it yet and to be honest I don't really like Bentley but we will use it anyway but now it's time for something a bit more relaxing with the V12 for victory event time trial we're only allowed to use the Aston Martin DBS uh, at least so far um, if we got more cars then maybe we would be allowed to use them um, but uh, yeah we have to get ready now for 9am or 1 minute 35 for the gold and sunny conditions as we have 4.2 miles ahead of us to try and get the uh, the gold time and so yeah much more of a relaxing uh, event so Let's try and think of a topic because, again, not really much is uh, is happening. Um, I don't really know what else to talk about. I've spoke about most of the stuff in the uh, videos that you would have seen for the Burnout Paradise Remastered uh, series that I'm doing alongside this one. So I recommend you check that one out, I guess. And also follow my Instagram, chief underscore dog twenty four. I don't really shout it out on this series all that much, but uh, it would be pretty nice if, if at least some of you did uh, follow it and then maybe I'll upload to it a little bit more um, but yeah not much to talk about um, spoke about most of, the, most of this stuff um, but yeah anyway we're gonna continue with this series and so far I think I am actually enjoying this series a little bit more right now but uh, compared to the Burnout Paradise one that I'm doing because it just feels like every single episode there's at least there's at least a good you know event like I get you know time trials like these um, the rapid responses on the police side um, preview events obviously um, and sort of those events mainly are a bit blare like you sort of just have to do them to progress in the story as we do do this one to get 1 minute 27.86 and the gold award um, but yeah sometimes they're just a bit boring but um, yeah so <laughs> glad that we're able to get them out of the way but now it's time for revenge on the turn up uh, event we're going to be going at it again and uh, well on this second attempt I'm going to give you a bit of a jump scare warning here. I didn't in fact do it. So here's some of the highlights of uh, this attempt though. We're able to take out one fella before we take ourselves out in this shortcut. Uh, not the optimal route. We take out a second fella by him smashing into us and then we deploy a spike strip and get him. Uh, we miss an EMP because of course we do. Uh, and the helicopter can't get through a flipping tunnel. Uh, we crash into a, a random traffic car, which, to be fair, does hit into another fella, 
Uh, we get a helicopter bust on that fellow as well. We get an EMP hit on this guy. For for some reason, I decided to turn into spike strips. Who knows why I did that? We just about get a missed EMP because of course. Uh, and flying around the lighthouse. Uh, yeah, we well we crash into a, a traffic car just from the uh, suspect that crashed them into me and so now we're on very low HP uh, and I'm trying to look ahead there's a helicopter and through his smoke I couldn't see the spike strip so we go again for attempt 3 um, where this time hopefully will be a bit more successful but it's not a great start because we clipped the wall um, and speeding up a little bit here because again I'm conscious of the time um, for this video we get a little bit of a hit onto this Porsche um, and deploy a spike strip and we're able to get a hit on him so that's good from our side this other Porsche Panamera drives through and deploys an EMP on me I deploy a spike strip it ends up busting this other fella which wasn't the intended target but fortunately the Porsche Panamera who was trying to EMP me did get in front and um, there's a system that's been jammed through a jammer through one of the suspects which isn't great uh, this guy didn't take the corner too well there's dual spike ships on the road we deploy an EMP on this Aston Martin uh, and while it does miss we sort of get about the amount of damage that you would from an EMP anyway so I'm not too I'm not too annoyed that we missed that one, but we deploy a helicopter to try and close the pack up a bit, try and help us out as well. And then we get to this Aston Martin, crash him a little bit and then finish him off and send him into some rocks. That is not a good way to go out in one of these events. And so we're looking ahead, trying to get the EMP lock, and we just about miss it because again, they're just way too fast compared to us. Uh, we speed things up a little bit here because again conscious of time uh, we got an aerial hit confirmed in front of us so the helicopter is doing its job fairly well again we've got an upgraded one this time so he's able to stay a little bit longer and help us out for a bit longer as well we speed things up again they can also the helicopter can also track them through the tunnel as well which does mean that um, he's not going to be as sort of disorientated uh, through a tunnel but we get an EMP well I tried to and then I missed it and then we avoid the spike ship that the helicopter dropped our uh, other mate did not and I deploy a spike ship intending to go for the guy directly behind me but it ends up uh, getting that guy all the way over there so another round of applause as we get the pass achieved because we have got three of them busted but again our snipes uh, today have been pretty nice actually we deploy a second helicopter, a second EMP, and again, for some reason, I drive into a flipping spike strip. For goodness sake, I need to stop doing this. Um, as we look behind, and I deploy a spike strip, and to my surprise, I deploy two. So, for some reason, midway through, we have got the upgraded level 3 version of the spike strip, which does become apparent at the end of the video as to why we've got it, but... I've never seen it upgrade halfway through um, an event, usually it just waits until the end, but for some reason it glitched and I decided to upgrade there and then. But we're deploying EMP anyway on this uh, GTR in front, we get the EMP so he is now very weak and unlike last time with the EM uh, AMG, we are able to get the GTR and slam him straight into the lighthouse. And now we have just the Lamborghini left who has been involved in a traffic collision and then ends up being involved in a me collision as he just about avoids the spike ship. He was quite close to the helicopter's one there. We deploy an EMP, smash him a little bit, keep on his tail and get the EMP off. So now he is very, very weak as we deploy our final helicopter because may as well and there's not too much left of the event and he should be able to last throughout the entire event and hopefully slow down this last suspect as we fly around this corner um, you can see it's looking a bit dicey we have two miles left and just this one feather but fortunately he is way lower HP we are all over the back of him 
and despite him trying to jam our systems, uh, we're able to follow him into the uh, the house. Just about miss him. I thought I was going to be able to get him, but not quite. But around this corner, we give him a little love tap. Just about get him, and that is his race over and done with. And at long last, we are finally able to finish this flipping event. Holy Christ! It took so long to do this one. Oh, but we end up getting the distinction with 4 minutes 43.85 being the time. Jesus Christ, I hope you guys certainly enjoyed that video because my god it was a painful one. But we're already going to get one new reward, now two new rewards uh, as we go past the little marker. Uh, and we just about also get a, a third reward so we're going to get two new cars and an equipment upgrade. And as it's about to see, or you're about to see, it's an equipment upgrade for level 3 spike strips, so I'll let the man explain it to us. Engineering the future of speed enforcement. Announcing the ultimate upgrade for your threat of technology. MDLS, the multiple device launching system. Double your stopping power. Deploy two shredders at once. Rolling out across the SCPD today. So there we go, that is another thing that has been upgraded and upgraded to the max at level 3 and that also explains why halfway through the event we uh, we got given it. We also get given the AMG SLS from Mercedes Benz as a police car so that is another good reward and we also get the Maserati whatever the hell that name is uh, for the highway patrol. Uh, so that is also good as well, but <sighs> what an episode ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you did enjoy it, if you did be sure to hit the like button, uh, comment anything you enjoyed below, subscribe if you enjoyed all my content, give me some constructive criticism, oh I'm going to take a breather, what an event, what a day, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah till then it's been Chief Dog 24 and I'll see you guys in the next one.